Ed, fire away. Yes, Mr. President. Actually, there. following up on Andrew's question, because the United States is now negotiating with the Taliban over airport access and such, do you now trust them? And then a question on the public response. A new poll out today shows Americans wanted to withdraw from Afghanistan, but they disapprove of the way you've handled it. Poll also found that based in part on what's transpired in the last week, a majority of Americans, and forgive me, I'm just the messenger, no longer consider you to be competent, focused, or effective in the job. I haven't seen that poll. It's out there um, from CBS this morning. Um, <laughs> what would you say to those Americans who no longer believe that you're up to the job? I had a basic decision to make. I either withdraw America from a 20-year war that, depending on whose analysis you accept, cost us $150 million a day for 20 years or $300 million a day for 20 years, who, and I, you know I carry this card to me every day, and who, in fact, uh, where we lost 2,448 Americans dead and 20,722 wounded. Either increase the number of forces we keep, we keep there and keep that going, or I end the war. And I decided to end the war. As I said the other day, you know, the only reason we're in Afghanistan this is the place from which bin Laden attacked the United States of America. Had this been in another Middle Eastern country where he could have easily have moved from, we would have never gone to Afghanistan. So the question is, when is the right time to leave? Where are our national interests? Where do they lie? And the idea that we are in a situation where we can not recognize that terrorism has metastasized around the world the need for us to focus on other parts of the world which create an even greater danger of an al-Qaeda-like operation beginning can't be ignored. And we are, as you well know, because you follow this, we are a number of places where we're doing that without permanent basing American forces there. So I, uh, I think when this is over, the American people have a clear understanding of what I did, why we did it, and uh, but look, that's the job. My job is to make judgments. My job is to make judgments no one else can or will make. I made them. I'm convinced I'm absolutely correct in not deciding to send more young women and men to war for a war that, in fact, is no longer warranted. 